polymer. A polymer is made up of a large number of monomer molecules joined end to end to form a large molecule. There are many polymers that occur naturally such as rubber, silk, wool and even cotton. The strands of DNA and proteins found in the human body are also polymers. Types of plastics The plastics we use for our purpose are of two types, thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastics become soft on heating and they can be melted repeatedly by heating. They can thus be reshaped again and again since they regain their properties on cooling. Polythene, polystyrene and polyvinyl chloride PVC are some of the common examples of thermoplastics. Thermosetting plastics become hard on being exposed to moderately high temperatures. They can thus be molded only once and cannot be reshaped again and again because the molecular structure of these plastics changes when they are heated above certain temperatures. These materials become very hard when processed, for example, bakelite and melamine. Thermoplastics Polythene is a flexible polymer of ethane molecules. It is translucent, so it can be molded into various shapes and rolled into thin sheets. Hence, it is used to make shopping and carry bags, waterproofing material in containers, packaging material, water bottles, etc. Polyvinyl chloride, PVC, is a polymer of vinyl chloride. It is tougher than polythene. It is also resistant to corrosion. It is commonly used as insulation on electric wires, water tanks, raincoats, credit cards and host of other items of daily use. Polystyrene is another thermoplastic polymer of an ester monomer. Thermocol is the most common example of this type of plastic. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes Biodegradable wastes Waste materials like leaves and barks, vegetable peels, paper, leftover food, garden prunings and weeds rot or get decomposed naturally are called biodegradable wastes. Decomposition is a process in which an object is broken down to simpler substances. These form useful compost for soil. These are environment friendly. Non-biodegradable wastes. Wastes like aluminium cans, foil, glass bottles, plastic containers and other such objects that do not decompose easily. These take many years to decompose or do not decay at all. Such wastes are called non-biodegradable wastes. These are harmful for the environment. 3 R's Approach Management of Natural Resources Strategies for waste management and save the environment are usually incorporated into mantras of 3 R's Approach. These are Reduce Reuse and Recycling Reduce Avoiding heavy packaging or by making consumer product in concentrated form as it will need fewer raw materials. Don't accept shopping bags when not required. Stop junk mail and unwanted catalogs. Zeriscape your kitchen garden lawn to reduce yard waste water and fertilizers. Reuse Use both sides of paper. Cut the extra pages to make note paper. Purchase and use durable coffee cups, plates and utensils instead of plastic and paper 
cloth napkins and towels instead of paper, plastic wraps or foil and refillable lighters and writing pens, non-disposable razors and cameras. Maintain and repair furniture, clothing and other usable items. Sell or donate goods instead of throwing them out. Recycle of waste materials. Recycling is the recovery of solid waste components for their possible use as raw material. It has manifold importance as it will save natural resources for future generations and will also save eco degradation. Waste like fly ash from thermal power plants, etc., can be employed to produce construction materials like bricks. Agricultural waste, for example, corn cobs and oak hulls, can be used to produce furfural which can be used in preparing germicidal medicines to treat the cattle diseases. Agricultural waste like rice husk and groundnut shells can be employed to produce an efficient and non-polluting fuel. Old tires can be utilized to produce rubber by microbial action of sulfur-loving bacteria. Aquatic weeds like dried water hyacinth can be used to produce fertilizers, biogas, animal feed, paper, etc. Needs to manage our natural resources. Human is the most important species of the nature and the earth has an unlimited supply of resources. So, the success of a healthy economy and environment would depend upon how well human derives from nature. Human beings are over exploiting the natural resources and polluting the environment due to toxic substances produced during their activities. For example, mining is causing pollution because of the large amount of slag which is discarded for every ton of metal extracted. There is a need for equitable use of resources for sustainable lifestyles. Synthetic Fibers To understand what synthetic fibers are, collect some paper clips and join them together to make a long chain as shown in the animation. A synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together. Each small unit is actually a chemical substance. Many such small units combine together to form a large single unit called a polymer. The word polymer comes from two Greek words, poly meaning many and mer meaning part or unit. So a polymer is made of many repetitive units. Rayon Rayon is a type of synthetic fiber that resembles silk in appearance. There are many varieties of rayon, all of which are obtained from cellulose. It is used in the manufacture of dress materials such as saris, caps and aprons. Rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets or mixed with wool to make carpets. It has many uses in the medical field for making gauze bandages and lint for dressing wounds. Tire cords are also made of rayon. Nylon Nylon was the first man-made synthetic fiber. It is made by forcing molten nylon through a very small hole in a device called spinneret. The streams of nylon harden into filament once they come in contact with air and they are then wound into bobbins.
These fibers are drawn after they cool. After the drawing process is completed, the yarn may be twisted a few turns per meter as it is wound onto spools. Further treatment to it can give it a different texture or bulk. Properties of Nylon It is a polymer material made of polyamide in which the monomer is an amide. Chemically, nylon fibers resemble those of silk and are very strong, tough and water resistant. Since the fibers absorb very little water, nylon clothing dries fast. Nylon fiber is very light, wrinkle resistant and can take a permanent crease. Use of Nylon Nylon is used to make fishing nets, ropes, parachute material, toothbrush handles, paint brushes, etc. Terylene it is another popular synthetic fiber. It is the trade name of the chemical company ICI, which created it. It is made by polymerizing ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid. Clothes made from terylene maintain their shape even after washing and are very durable. Terylene has a wool-like texture which is why it is often used to weave fabrics for making suits, trousers, etc. It is called terry cot when blended with cotton and terry wool when mixed with wool. It is resistant to chemical actions and therefore it is commonly used to make protective clothing for workers of chemical industries. It is widely used to make textiles and sails of boats. It is also used in the materials used for making conveyor belts. Polyester Polyester is the general name for a group of widely used synthetic products. Polyesters are strong, tough materials that are manufactured in variety of colors, shapes and sizes. It is made of a large number of molecules of the ester group in which the monomer could be terylene, terine or dacron. Polyesters are manufactured in three basic forms, fibers, films and plastics. Polyester fibers are used to make fabrics. Polythene terephthalate or simply PET is the most common polyester used for making fiber. This is the polymer used for making soft drink bottles. In winters, we use sweaters, shawls and blankets to keep ourselves warm. Sweaters, shawls, blankets are not made from natural wool though they appear to resemble so. These are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber called acrylic. The wool obtained from natural sources is quite expensive, whereas clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheap. They are available in a variety of colors. Synthetic fibers are more durable and affordable which makes them more popular than natural fibers. Types of Synthetic Fiber In this activity, we will determine the strength of different types of fibers. Take an iron stand with a clamp. Take a cotton thread of about 60 cm length, tie it to the clamp so that it hangs freely from it as shown in the animation. At the free end, Suspend a pan in which weights can be placed. Add weights one by one till the thread breaks. Note down the total weight required to break the thread. This weight indicates the strength of the fiber. Repeat the same activity with threads of wool, silk and nylon 
and observe. Mineral fibers. The most well known mineral fibers are glass and metal fibers. Fiberglass, made from plastic glass formula, and optical fiber, made from purified natural quartz, are also man made fibers that come from natural raw materials. Fiberglass is impervious to weather and most chemicals and is commonly used to make boats, car bodies and waterproof cabinets. It is very light and strong. Optical fiber is widely used to make cables which carry voice and data transmissions used in telephone and internet connections. Carbon Fibers Carbon fibers are often used on carbonized polymers, but their end products are pure carbon. Carbon fiber composite materials are widely used in a variety of items ranging from tennis rackets to space shuttles. Characteristics of Synthetic Fibers In this activity, we will observe some properties of synthetic fibers. Take two cloth pieces of the same size, roughly half a meter square each. One of these should be a natural fiber, the other could be a synthetic fiber. Soak the pieces in different beakers, each containing the same amount of water. Take the pieces out of the beakers after 5 minutes and spread them in the sun for a few minutes. Compare the volume of water remaining in each beaker. You will observe that synthetic fabric soaks less water than the natural fabric and takes less time to dry. This activity shows that synthetic fibers are superior to natural fibers. Disadvantages of synthetic fibers are Synthetic fibers cause rashes on the skin. They are not biodegradable. That is, they do not decompose on their own when thrown away. Synthetic fibers are not comfortable in summer. They do not allow air to pass through them. As they do not absorb water, so they do not absorb sweat either.